In this video, I'm going to cover some basic definitions with regards to health and safety. Um, what we're going to talk about is the difference between um, the definitions of hazard, risk and harm, because they're quite fundamental terms to health and safety, but sometimes they can actually be the, co uh, the cause of some confusion. So let's start with hazard. Uh, what's a hazard? Well, it's something that can cause harm. Um, that's the most basic definition. So something that can cause harm. And that something can be situations, uh, activities, uh, behaviours, conditions, uh, pieces of equipment, uh, sources of energy, uh, environmental conditions. Um, so there's no constraint here uh, and it, often it's better to you, you know think quite broadly and widely uh, in terms of thinking of hazards and it's useful to use a categorization system it's not essential but it's a useful thing to um, identify categories of hazards to sort of make it easier to to identify them uh, rather than try and come at it um, in an unsystematic way there's a there's a chance you might miss some so some common ways of categorizing hazards are to think of uh, mechanical hazards physical hazards chemical biological uh, psychosocial is another type of hazard you might categorize organizational um, environmental uh, and these are ways that enable you to pick a category and then go through the workplace just focusing on that one category of hazard before moving on to the next one. So basically to summarise that a hazard is something with the potential to cause harm. Um, so what is a risk? Um, that's, that's something that's related to hazards but it, it, it often gets on risk assessments I see it quite often that there's a bit of confusion evident between what people think a hazard is and what people regard a risk as being. So a risk is basically the chances or the likelihood that a hazard will actually cause harm. And if it does, how severe or serious um, the level of harm is going to be. So it's it's got two facets to it, risk has. There's the there's the severity of harm and there's the likelihood that it will happen. And to get a good idea of risk, you really need to consider both. If you only focus on one, um, then you're not going to get a, a full picture of risk. You could end up thinking that absolutely everything is going to be um, a risk, which in a way, uh, I mean, risk is everywhere, but you want to focus on those that are more serious and or more likely to happen under foreseeable circumstances in the workplace. Otherwise, you're just going to end up risk assessing absolutely everything. And when you try and risk assess everything, you're not actually prioritising the most, se most serious risks. So you could end up getting derailed and focusing time, energy and resources on comparatively trivial risks whilst significant risks remain unattended to within the workplace. So to summarise risk, it's the likelihood that harm will occur together with the severity of the level of harm um, that you think a hazard might cause. So the third one is harm. What is harm? Well, that is, we've already touched on it when we talked about um, the other two terms. But harm is the result of um, an interaction um, with a hazard that results in injury or illness. So with harm, it's important to think about uh, both the illness side of things and the um, injury side of things. So this is uh, related to these terms of health and safety. Safety is usually regarded uh, is usually considering um, those things that can cause physical injuries um, and within the health and safety field 
there is uh, a, a recognition of the fact that sometimes the health side of things, which focuses more on uh, illnesses and um, uh, and things that can impact on people's long-term health and well-being, that's kind of historically taken a bit of a back seat and the attention has been on the safety side of things, focusing maybe a little bit too much on uh, physical injuries, perhaps at the expense of these health uh, concerns that need to be taken into account as well. And there's all sorts of reasons behind that that we'll, we, we will cover in another video, but we don't have, um, you know, that's a big, that's a big subject to delve into. Um, uh, so we're not going to cover that in this video, but uh, yeah, it's to summarize then harm is the, um, you know, the, 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 the damage, if you like, that can, that can be caused to somebody's health or somebody's safety, physical injuries uh, or diseases and illnesses, that type of thing. Um, so, for example, let, let, let me give you an example of something that um, comes up quite a bit in, in health and safety, and that is electric shock. If, if I was to say the term electric shock to you, what do you think um, d uh, that, what, what category do you think electric shock belongs into as a, as a phrase? Is it, is it harm? Is it a hazard? Is it a risk? Um, because often what we find in, in risk assessment forms, there will be a column for hazards and we'll have written in there electric shock written in there as a hazard. But if you think about it, it electric shock is not a hazard. Electric shock is harm that can result um, via interaction with a hazard. So a hazard might be a broken piece of electrical equipment um, or a uninsulated conductor that is live. So that's the hazard, that's the, the thing with the potential to cause harm. The risk, the likelihood and the severity is, um, well, electric shock could, could kill you, obviously, so it's a high severity. And if it's a, um, a broken piece of electrical, equi electrical equipment that is still um, available to be used, then the likelihood is also going to be high. So that's a brief gallop through of the, the main terms, the um, terms of hazard, risk and harm.